Hey everyone, it's me, Coach Franklin, cross country and basketball coach at Boston Training Academy. Today I'm going to share with you all a simple stretch routine that you can do when you wake up in the morning just to loosen things up from your quarantine slumber. So first we're going to start with five uh, neck rolls. So what you're going to do is stand up nice and straight, um, make sure you're all in line, and then you're going to tuck your chin to your chest. Slowly roll your shoulders forward and roll your entire spine down nice and slow. All the way to as low as you can go with some degree of comfort and then roll back up. Keeping your chin tucked to your chest, roll your shoulders back and then stand up nice and straight. So you're going to do five of those. So I'm just going to do a couple more so you can see. And the idea here is we're kind of loosening up our back, loosening up our neck. You might feel a couple pops and cracks, um, and that's okay. And we want to make sure we're letting that spine roll from the top all the way down to the bottom. Next, we're going to do 10 hip hinges. So the hip hinge. Um, we're going to stretch our hamstrings, not by bending our back, but by kind of um, hinging at the hips. So what it's going to feel like is you're going to let your butt move back. And then hinge back in an upright position. You should feel kind of a gentle stretch of your hamstrings in the back of your legs. Try to keep your uh, pelvis in line, so your belly button either facing forward when you're in the upright position or down straight to the ground as you uh, move into the hinge. Try to keep your shoulders back, maintain good posture. Eyes forward. So 10 of those, nice and easy. And you should be able to feel yourself go down a little bit further on both the neck rolls and the hip hinges on each repetition. Next, after those uh, 10 hip hinges, we're gonna do one more neck roll. This one you should feel nice and loose after doing those hip hinges. When we get down to the bottom, we're gonna walk our hands forward, walk our feet back into a push-up push position, and we're gonna lower ourselves down, get on our elbows, Intertwine our fingers, uh, tops of your feet flat into the ground, shoulders back, belly button uh, into the ground, head up, then we're just going to breathe. And this is a, a nice stretch for the front of your body. I call this a prone hip flexor stretch. And we're going to take 10 nice deep breaths. And hopefully on each breath you should be able to feel um, your hips loosening up, uh, the front of your hips. And if this feels pretty comfortable and isn't that big of a stretch, that's great. Um, I'm just working on opening up the front of that body uh, gently. So after 10 deep breaths, We're going to come up to a position on all fours, and these are bird dogs. So what we're going to want to do is simultaneously raise our right arm up in the air and our left leg, trying to keep them you know, flush, uh, parallel with the floor, and then come down. So we're going to do five of these on each side, ten in total. This is a good exercise for just kind of waking up your core, Working on your balance, activating your shoulders. Really try to be precise with the arms and legs parallel to the floor. So five of those on each side, uh, 10 total. And then next we're gonna do a really good stretch for our hips and back called the 90-90 stretch. So this one, we want our front leg uh, to be at 90 degrees with itself. Uh, 
at right angle, and then we also want our right leg, our back leg, to be at 90 degrees, and then the left foot and the right um, shin to be parallel with one another. So once we get into this position, we're gonna take our right elbow, bring it across our body, reach out our left arm just a little bit, and get this nice stretch. Depending on you know where you're tight, you can feel this in different places, but you'll probably feel it in your back, uh, the side of your front hip, and then maybe the front of your uh, rear hip. So in this situation, my right. So once again, we're gonna do 10 deep breaths on one side. And with each breath, you can hopefully feel that stretch getting a little bit deeper. And then we're gonna switch after 10 breaths. So once again, make sure uh, you're lined up, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 180. Bring the left uh, elbow around, brace yourself, and breathe. Ten deep breaths, nice and slow. All right, after that, we're gonna do a nice hip flexor stretch. Start off putting our left foot on the ground, leg at 90 degrees, uh, right knee on the ground. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our left hand and gently grab our right wrist, pull it over our head so our bicep is by our ear. Look straight ahead and just gently pull and then gently kind of push um, your hip forward so we're getting a nice stretch in the front of your hip and your hip flexor muscles. And once again, we're gonna take 10 deep breaths. Try to keep your belly button pointing straight forward, nice in line, and then switch. Then you might also feel this stretch not just in um, in your hip flexors, the front of your hips, but maybe also in your shoulders and a little bit in your side, and that's good too. Nice deep breaths, ten deep breaths on each side. Awesome. And then next we're going to do two different kind of squat stretches. So the first one, we're going to start off in a squat, but let ourselves come up off our heels, if that's comfortable. And we're gonna put our palms on the ground with our fingers pointing back towards our body. And we're gonna try to keep our shoulders back. And then kind of let our, let ourselves gravity do the work. And we should feel the stretch a little bit in our hips and then also in our heels maybe in our biceps and forearms as well, if we've got tightness there. So once again, 10 deep breaths. And you try to keep all your toes on the ground, kind of evenly distributed with your weight. After 10 deep breaths like this, what we're gonna to wanna to do is relax our hands, and then if you can, drop your heels to the ground in a nice squat like this. And we're gonna wanna hold this for 10 deep breaths as well. Um, this might be pretty challenging um, for some folks if your heels are tight. If you're having a hard time maintaining your balance, you can hold onto an object or a chair or something like that in front of you. Um, once again, 10 deep breaths. And we're gonna stand up. And then so we started standing, we're going to end standing uh, to open up our chest. We're going to put our hands up above our head, intertwine our fingers with our palms up to the sky, thumbs forward, pinkies back. And then we're going to do three of these. We're going to slowly, in almost like one long exhale, lower our arms down to our sides. And we're going to inhale again. Exhale. And 
And then one more time. And exhale. So hopefully after going through that routine, you're feeling a bit limbered up, ready to start your day. Um, so thank you for joining me and stay active and uh, go Lions.